Vampire is a dead body which comes to life and rises from the grave and wanders around smothering people and drinking their blood. This is a sentence from a book by Veselin Trekanovic, a religious history scholar who states that Vampir was in some parts of Bosnia, Serbia and Montenegro called Lampir, which is similar to Leptir, which means butterfly. And Trekanovic continues, from ancient times butterfly is considered to be reincarnation of the soul. Belief states that you must burn the butterfly that comes out of that body or vampire won't be destroyed. There are some notable characteristics that Slavic vampire usually has. People who become vampires are usually dishonest, mean or thieves, but person could also become a vampire if he had died suddenly or if he had been violently murdered. There is a custom practice to this day in which that person needs to be guarded by a family member night before the burial because it was also believed that if an animal, cat for example, jumps over that person, he or she will later turn into vampire. Considering external appearance of a vampire, it is stated that vampire is always red in face because of all the blood he sucked. When vampire is killed, he vanishes and there is only pool of blood left behind him. In Ukrainian folklore, vampires also have red faces, but those Ukrainian vampires were described as not being dead at all, just engaging in vampirism long before death. Cholera epidemics in the 19th century may have something to do with it, when people were burned alive on charges of being vampires. Killing a vampire isn't an easy task at all. Hawthorn stake was often used, piercing either chest or big toes. In one small Bosnian village, they used to put wooden stake beside the grave, and they would say, do not come to life, and then they say the name of the deceased, unless this stake sprouts a leaf. Sometimes they would put stones on top of deceased so that he cannot move. As far as the protection against vampires goes, people believe that if they turn everything upside down and inside out in their house, vampire won't show up, because vampires won't come where things are overturned. One of the mythical places in Slavic mythology, besides crossroads, bridges and caves, is Watermill. And it is believed that creatures such as water demon Wodanoi, werewolves and vampires reside there. One of the interesting motives in mythology is sexual relations between demons or any dead entities and mortal women. There were cases where women got pregnant after their husbands died and then said that they, their husbands, rose from the grave just to have sex with them. But also there were men who went around at night dressed as vampires, searching for houses with widows, claiming that they are their late husbands. This is one recorded event from 1920s in small village Tupanari in present-day Republika Srpska entity. Though the truth behind it was not found, it is interesting because it contains practice or custom involving killing a vampire. It is from a book Myth and Religion Within Serbs by Veselin Trekanović. Old farmer Paja Tomic died on April the 9th this year. Just after he died, his wife Cvija started complaining that her dead husband comes at night and runs through the house. There were those who believed Cvija, there were those who didn't, but she stayed with her story that her husband turned into vampire and that he comes every night. Paja's sons Stevo and Krsto called everyone from the village for a meeting. They all agreed that vampire needs to be destroyed. They all went to the cemetery led by Paja's sons. Some brought wood for bonfire, others brought hot on sticks. They dug up the body, pierced it with the stake and threw it in bonfire. After the body was burned, they scattered the ashes and threw remaining bones back into the grave. In other cases of vampire killings, angry villagers would call vampirdie, those who were believed to be born out of relation between vampire and a live woman. They believed that vampirdia had supernatural strength needed to fight a vampire. The modern vampirology states that in traditional culture, vampire embodies things that are dangerous for people, such as death, misfortune, evil, underworld. The most dangerous one, of course, is death, and categories that best define vampires are unclean soul, evil spirit, and underworld. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.